Hello grade one. Today we are going to study new chapter. It's chapter 10. What is matter? What is matter? Everything around you is a matter. Everything around you is a matter. Toys that you play with are a matter. Balloons are a matter. Water you drink is also a matter. Air around you is a matter. Books that you read are a matter. Desk, chair, everything around you is a matter. But all matter is not the same. Matter can be soft or can be hard. What is soft mean? Soft like this pillow. When you press on it, it will change its shape. Or hard, like this wall. If you try to press on it, it will not change its shape. Now, matter can be soft or can be hard. Now, could you tell me which picture is soft and which picture is hard? Yes, very good. The bear is soft while the rock is hard. So, we can also classify, classify matter if it's big or small. This ball is small, but this ball is big. Also, the bear here. This big bear and this is small bear. We can also sort matter by their color. We can classify matter according to their color. So, we can classify matter big or small, soft or hard, or their different colors. Okay, so matter is everything around us is a matter, everything around you is a matter. What are the states of matter? We have only three states of matter, or three types of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. Solid, liquid, and gas. So, how many states of matter do we have? Yes, excellent, three states of matter. What are the three states of matter? Very good. Solid, liquid, and gas. So, what is solid? Solid, it's a state of matter that has its own shape. Solid, it is a state of matter that has its own shape. Okay, computer is example of solid. Car, carrot, book, cup, chair, tree, your bag is solid also, hat, and car. All these are examples of solid because solid has its own shape. What happens when you mix some different type of solid? For example, we can make some different type of nuts. Now, you are gonna make a mixture. You are gonna make a mixture. So, mixture is made up of two or more things. Mixture, when you mix two or more something, two or more things, you make a mixture. So, mixture is made up of two or more things. How to measure the solid? We can use the balance to measure its mass and we can use ruler to measure its length. Now we are talking about liquid. Liquid is the second state of matter. Look at these two pictures and tell me how are oil and water are alike? 
Yes, very good. Both are liquids. So, liquid is a state of matter that can flow. Liquid is a state of matter that can f can move. So, liquid doesn't have its own shape. It just takes the shape of the glass or takes the shape of the cup. So, liquid doesn't have its own shape. But it takes the shape of its container. It takes the shape of its container. So, what is the matter that can flow? Yes, very good. This is liquid. This is liquid. Can we make a mixture of liquid? Yes, you can mix salt with water. Then you made a mixture. Salt can dissolve in water. Salt dissolves in water or completely disappear in water. But what happens if you mix soil with water? Soil will not dissolve in water. Soil will not dissolve in water. So we can also make a mixture of liquid. What about a float and sink? Some object can float or can stay on top of the liquid. Some object sink, sink or fall to bottom of the liquid. So float is the opposite of sink. Look at this picture, which one can float and which one sink. Yes, the ship can float on liquid and the rock is sinking in the water or in the liquid. We can also measure the liquid by measuring cup to find out the volume of liquid. We can use this one, this measuring cup, to find out the volume of the liquid. Also, we can use a balance to measure the mass of liquid. Now, let's go to the third state of matter. What is this? Yes, it's a gas. So, let me remind you what are the three states of matter. Yes, very good. Solid, liquid and gas. Now, let's turn to the third state of matter is gas. Gas state. Air is a gas state. Air is made of gases. So, a gas is a state of matter as we took that are three states of matter that are solid liquid gas. You cannot see most gases, but actually they exist. A gas doesn't have shape. It spread out to fill the container like this. Like in this picture, you can see most gases, but gas spreads out to fill the container. So, it can take the shape of its container, the same in the liquid. If you look at the balloon, you can see the gas spread out to fill all the balloon. Matter is everything that takes up space. Everything around you is matter. The air you breathe, the water you drink, the food you eat are all matter. But they are all different of matter. The air you breathe is a gas. It floats all around you. The water you drink is a liquid. It flows smoothly down your throat. The plate that holds your food is a solid. You can hold it in your hands. Solids, liquids, and gases are the different states of matter. Some things can easily change states.
like water is a liquid. If you freeze it, it becomes ice, a solid. If you boil it, it becomes water vapor, a gas. Let's learn about solids first. Solids have shapes. A book is a solid in the shape of a rectangle. A solid in the shape of a circle. Solids little pieces called particles. They are packed closely together. They can't move across each other or float away into space. They can be hard like a block or soft like a blanket. They can be heavy like a boulder or light like a feather. They can be hot like a pizza or cold like an icicle. Here are some objects. Can you figure out which of these are solids? Let's identify the solid. A book. Toy car. And a cup. All are solids. Let's learn about liquids now. Liquids do not have a shape. They take the shape of the container they're in. Water can fill a round bowl. It can fill a square pan. Or it can fill a tall glass. Liquids are also made of little pieces called particles. The particles of a liquid are held together loosely. They move and slide across each other. When you pour water, it flows into a container. It's not like a solid. Solids tumble and bang into each other. Liquids are soft and not hard. They can be hot, hot chocolate. They can be cold, like a cold glass of lemonade. Can you identify which of these objects are liquids? Let's identify liquids. Water, orange juice, milk, and soup are all liquids. Let's learn about gases now. Gas particles are not held together. They float away and fill up the space they're in. Gases can be light or heavy. A gas called helium is lighter than air. That's why a helium balloon stays up. 
gases can be hot or cold. When you're outside on a winter day, you can feel the cold air. When you come inside, you can feel the warm air. Can you identify different states of matter in this picture? Here, ice is the solid, water is the liquid, and clouds are made up of gas. There is another state of matter called plasma. Little float or sink. Little float or sink. The toy duck floats. My shoe sinks. The ball floats. My towel sinks. The cup floats. My spoon sinks. <laughs>